not. But I, I really do believe that uh, all of us in this House who support free trade, who want to see Britain as a success story in international markets, should really get behind TTIP rather than listening to some NGOs who I think are raising entirely false fears about it. There's no way that TTIP can in any way uh, undermine our NHS. Our NHS is determined by the policies we pass here in this House. And one of the things that was so striking about the European Council was countries worrying about these so-called investor protection mechanisms, even though all of us, Britain has 94 of these things, we've never lost a case. So there's an awful lot of scaremongering about TTIP, and I think any of us who want to see a successful British economy should get behind what could be a real jobs boost for our country. Yeah. Mr. Stewart. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If the Prime Minister is so certain that TTIP will not undermine the NHS, has he got assurances which specifically mentions the NHS in the treaty and therefore makes it absolutely clear that what some of us fear might happen will not happen? Yeah. Well, there is this very powerful quote, which I think I've read out in the House of Commons before, where um, the, trade, the previous Trade Commission said public services are always exempted. There's no problem about exemption. The argument is abused in your country for political reasons, but it has no grounds. The point is, though, I would make, is that it's local NHS commissioners make decisions about who deliver services. And so one of the things that's being done with TTIP is that People or countries who want to raise concerns, like over the investor protection uh, mechanisms, are asking for more things to be put in the treaty, which in the end we'll have to pay a price for. And if they're not necessary, if there isn't a problem, why are we creating one? As I say, with the investor protection uh, mechanisms, we have the, the country that was raising this problem was Austria. They got 60 of these agreements. They've never, ever lost a case. So, of course, let's have the robust negotiation, let's seek any safeguards we might need. But let's not raise problems that don't really exist.